Let's consider some math on your sins. Let's do some math on your sins. Let's say that you're good enough to, in thought, word, attitude, action, belief, those are all the categories of sin, thought, word, attitude, action, belief, all of those five things. Let's say that you're good enough on any given day that you only sin five times a day, five a day. Now, I had four children. <laughs> they had five sins before they rolled out of bed in the morning. <laughs> well, we, they all do. And you do too. Oh, now you're making me feel bad. Love you guys. <laughs> they say, Dad, you do too. Amen. A amen. Uh, let's say you, had, you were good enough to, let, to, to commit five sins a day and you live 75 years. Thought, word, attitude, action, belief. How many sins do you have to pay for? Let's do the math on these. Five a day. If somebody's going to freak out because this is math class. <laughs> Times 365 days a year. I'm going to give you the answer though. This is the kind of test you like, isn't it? 800, 1,825 sins a year if you do only five a day times 75 years is 136,875 sins to account for before the judge of all the earth. That's if you only commit five a day. 2 Peter 2.14 says that there are some in this world that, quote, cannot cease from sin meaning all they do from the time they get up to the time they go to bed, even their dreams and their thoughts at night are sinful before God. Thought, word, attitude, action, belief, continually sinful. Before God flooded the whole world in the time of Noah, Genesis 6, 5, this is what God said about humanity. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. How much of your life has been lived that way? Before you, if you were a believer today, before you came to Christ and you tried by His grace to, to, to change the way you lived and the way you thought and the way you acted, every single thought that you had was about yourself Every single thought you had was about how you could get what you wanted. You could do what you wanted. You didn't judge other people fairly. You didn't treat them kindly. All the intents and the thoughts of your heart were only evil continually. You could have millions of sins to count for. You could have billions of sins to count for. But well, let's stick with the 136,875 number for a moment. Let me put just that level of sin in perspective for each of you. Here is the summary of your sins as they stand before the God of the judge of all the earth. You have been tried and convicted. This is the fact of the matter, if the Bible is true. You have been tried and convicted of more than 136,875 crimes. And they are all capital crimes. They are all, as we saw last time, sins worthy of death. 